Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Homestead Report, episode two. Episode two. That's since right. since changing our name over from Water Cooler Wednesday. That's right. And you can probably tell today's not Wednesday. So the good thing about changing your name from something like Water Cooler Wednesday to Homestead Report is that you don't have to do it on Wednesday. That's right. Free to do it any day you please. So how's it going? It's going. I can't complain. I'm tired. You've been going. Give out. Yeah, morning. I've been going all morning. I drove all the way to uh, Litchfield. And I turned around from there and drove all the way to Supply, North Carolina. And then turned around and drove all the way back. Yeah. I'm give out. Well, I'm glad you could take the time out of your busy day to yeah, me too. stop by. I'm glad I made me. it back in time because I was worried. I was like, man, I really want to get back. I want to get an episode. Give us something to edit over the weekend. Don't know what day this will be airing. Hopefully it'll be uh, Sunday. Maybe. Okay. As of recording, today is Friday. Yeah. Today is Friday. Yesterday, you guys uploaded a video. Was that last night? We did. Last night at like 7.30-ish. Uh, you had to uh, remediate some issues that you've been having in your, uh, or mitigate. Uh, it, mitigate some issues? I don't know how you say that. I think either way is acceptable. You had to you had to reme- me- remediate. We had to take care of some problems. You had to do some stuff. You're gonna have some problems in your in your uh, garden. I did, I did. So my mom called me and she was like, uh, "The garden's looking great." And I was like, "Yeah, garden's looking really good. Happy about it." And she's like, "But if we don't do something soon, we're gonna have no garden left." And I'm like, "What are you talking about, mom?" And she said, "Well, the deer tracks are all through the garden. They've been eating the, the garden, and the bugs are about to take over." I said, "Oh my goodness!" So, uh, yeah. I was out and about one day, and I stopped by True Value and picked up some bamboo sticks, and I picked and I had some grocery bags at the house, and I picked up some Seven Dust, which uh, my wife edited the video and she spelled it wrong. She spelled it seven like the number, and it's uh, seven S E V I N because that's the name of who makes the product. Um, either way, it's still called Seven Dust, so everybody knew what she was talking about, but. Uh, Picked it all up and then got the family together and we went out there and we applied it using an old, old, old technique that, uh, you know, that they've been using for ages, pantyhose. Mm -hmm. Fill pantyhose up with seven dust and then just kind of shake them and it's perfect. It's not real clumpy, you know, because if you open the lid, it's got holes in it, kind of like a salt shaker. But when you spray it like that, it comes out in big clumps. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, but when you use the uh, pantyhose, it comes out about perfect. I see it too. There's a fly that has decided to join us. Um, yeah. So yeah, we did that, and then we uh, beat the bamboo into the ground and tied the uh, bags around them, and that creates movement in the garden. And deer don't like that. They think that there's something, you know, some kind of animal or a person, or they don't really know what it is, but they're just really fixated on movement. They get spooked easily. They get spooked very easily with any kind of movement. So it'll, you know. The wind will blow the bags around. It'll keep everything, keep, you know, most everything out of the garden anyway. Cool. So, yeah, we fixed our problems. Well, let me ask you about the seven dust. Okay. I know in the bloopers, Elizabeth asked you if it was toxic. <laughs> uh, because, uh, t- uh, to be sure, y'all were probably inhaling a bunch of it. So, how, how if you had to guess, how much seven dust did you inhale? Well, actually, later that day, we used it as... Uh, you know, kind of like paprika. Mm. We just put it right on the food. Yeah, it's okay. great. All Tasted right, cool. really good. Well, I'll have to try that when I get home. <laughs> I don't know, but they, I probably did inhale some of that, to be honest with you. Because they were putting it in the thing, and I was holding it, and they and they would do that, and it would go everywhere. Yeah. And then you would try to shake it on the plant, and the wind would blow, and it would go everywhere. I was pretty much covered with seven dust, so yeah. I hope it's not very toxic. At least the bugs won't bother you. No. No. So I, I should be free of bugs. So how long did it take y'all to go over the whole garden? A while, because I know y'all started. It was daylight, and then by the end, it was night. It yeah, was, it was sunset. Yeah, yeah. So. it took a while. We were there. Oh, I can't. Two hours probably is what we spent on it total. I think that's what the video was before it got edited down to uh, ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, about two hours. But we did a lot of additional stuff too. Like we hoed the garden too. Um, and we didn't get all of it done. We're going to try and go back and finish that maybe today. I don't know. And you got Danny out there. I did. That's he doesn't want to be on YouTube, though. So I didn't. Uh, oops. 
Uh, but you can't really see him or no. anything. And he wasn't talking or anything. No, he was kind of hidden. Yeah, he was pretty hidden. Yeah. So hopefully he doesn't notice that he's on YouTube. Yeah, I don't think he'll notice. It wasn't Danny, actually. It was someone else. I think it might have been somebody else now that you mention it. Yeah. You had Emily out there working. And <laughs> we the did. Kids. We had Emily and Grandma. Grandma was out yeah. there. Yeah, and Grandma was out there. Grandma said, I don't mind being on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't care. She's feisty. So, uh... Have you been back out there since then? Seen any new fresh deer tracks or anything? I have or? not. I'm going to go today, though, because we're going to f- try to finish hoeing. Um, so, yeah. I think we went Wednesday. And then yesterday we were going to go, but we didn't. We ran out of time. Um, but we're going to go today for sure. Okay. <coughs> I haven't had as much time as I'd like because we've been breeding dogs. MorelandKennels.com. Um, we got a dog in heat. Um, and we've been trying to make that happen, and that's uh, anyway. It's turned into a process. It's taking up a lot of time. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Well, so, uh, see, that one was yesterday. That was that, yesterday. That one came out. Yeah, another one that came out earlier this week. Yeah, I did. You finished your rabbit hutch. I did. God, that was a chore. That was a job. Uh, it took way longer than I expected. I worked on that thing. A, a culmination of like five days worth of effort. Um, well, a lot of that you were doing after work too. It was. So yeah, it was come, after work. You'd come yeah. home and you'd have a little bit of time. That's right. I'd work on for like an hour, there. yeah, maybe hour and a half. And the kids were playing, and you know how it is when the kids are playing. And, you know, you can't really get a whole lot done. But yeah, they always try to rope me into this. Fly is just yeah, I know. He's killing me. He is just hanging out. There, I know. there was a moth in here yesterday that was about the size of my hand, dude. What? He wasn't quite that big, but I, he was flying around, and I was like, what in the bejesus is this thing flying around my head? And he wouldn't leave me alone, dude. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, the kids, like, I, I, was, I, do, I was doing something yesterday in the garage. I do a lot of stuff in the garage. I don't video all of it, but I try to get a lot of it videoed. Anyway, I was doing something in the garage, and the kids had all the spare wood, you know, because I kind of just piled all the wood up, and I said, well, the weekend I'll clean the garage really good and sweep it and blow it out and, you know, burn all the extra pieces of wood. But anyway, I had a bunch of pieces of wood. It was a pile as big as this table. <clears throat> and they took the wood and were making castles, you know, quote-unquote mm-hmm. castles. And then one of them would make castle, and the other one would tear it down. Then the other one would make castle, and the other one would tear it down. Um, so I started making t- castles with them. We made a castle that was as tall as I am. Um, and then I have the rings from back when I used to actually work out. Uh, I had the rings, you know, like the Olympic rings or whatnot. So I'd grab the rings and swing and knock the castle down with like a flying karate kick type deal. Hilarious. You had to be there. I had a ball. I had so much fun. I I had so much fun that my wife came out and was like, what are y'all doing? I can hear you all the way in the house. Um, great. Good times. I'll try to put some pictures up. That's what we'll do, because I took some pictures of some of the castles that we built. Don't have any video of the flying karate kick. That would have been solid gold. Yeah. Anyway, it was good times. The kids enjoy stuff like that. So update us on the rabbits. You've been looking. God, I've been looking everywhere. Um, I reached out to Daniel, um, Copperhead Road, Homestead. And I was like, man, you know, where in the world did you get your rabbits from? And he said that he found his from a farm group on Facebook. And I hadn't looked on Facebook yet because I don't really do Facebook very much. Um, I had looked on Craigslist, and, and that was about it. And I couldn't find any that were close. Still haven't found any that were close. And I looked on Google, and all that got me was, like, real rabbitries that are, you know, members of ARBA, and that's American Rabbit Breeders Association. Yeah, members of ARBA, yeah. Um, but they want like a hundred, they want like $150 for a rabbit. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. But uh, anyway, so, but then I got to thinking about it. Me and you had called the pet store, and the lady said that she would have some on Thursday. Mm-hmm. That today is yesterday. Friday. Yes. And I forgot. So as soon as we get done with this, I need to call her and see if she's got any. Yeah. Uh, you can go ahead. I just, I gotta check something real quick. That uh, okay. I gotta. Um, this doesn't necessarily need to be cut out because it's kind of pertinent. Pertinent. Okay. Uh, my beautiful wife. I told you every day. She asked me every day. She wants. My bun- it. I said, yeah. Since I told her, I said, "Hey, Michael, you know, might get some bunnies and stuff, yeah. you know." And I told her so every day. 
she wants to know where her bunny is. <laughs> so she texted me yesterday. Yeah. And she said, hey. I said, hey. She said, where's my bunny? I said, at the bunny store. At the bunny store. She said, tell him I want a Netherland dwarf. A Netherland dwarf. That's what she wants. See, so, those are that's what I'm talking about. I like those too. So if you don't get Netherland dwarfs, She's I'm going to have to go out and, 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 just, you're gonna have to and, buy. and buy her one. Yeah, So I got you. Uh, so you're really counting on me at this point, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You know. I'll try not to lay you down, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Those are the best ones, though. I like the Netherland Dwarfs, and I like the the Mini Rexes. Um, the Holland Lops are okay. You know, if all you guys really love Holland Rock Lops, then uh, sorry. But, I mean, they're okay. The ears flop way down. Mm -hmm. Very floppy. Very floppy. The uh, the line heads are okay. But I, I really like the Mini Rex and the Netherland Dwarfs. Those are my two favorite. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying everywhere to find them. I can't find them. I can't find them without driving, like, four hours. Yeah. One way. And I really don't want to drive eight hours well, for a bunny. Maybe the maybe, maybe the pet store down in uh in Surfside will have them. Maybe so, yeah. Know. Maybe that maybe she gets them every week, every Thursday or maybe so. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe we'll try that and maybe that'll work. Do you do much on a Facebook marketplace? No. Do you know how to handle it? No. Uh, yeah, you're like me. You don't no. do any of that. I don't either. My, my wife knows how to do it, but I... Well, tell her to find me some bunnies then. I'll tell her to look. Look on the marketplace and find me some bunnies. I, the marketplace confuses the crap out of me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work like it's supposed to. Like, yeah. there's no filters. And you can't, like... Or at least if they are, I don't know how to work them. I don't know how to work the filters and, you know, limit my search to a certain area and with certain criteria and certain price range. And it just doesn't seem to work like that. Yeah. It just seems to be like a stream of consciousness of like people like all the people trying to sell stuff are one mind collectively and it's a stream of consciousness of them just spitting stuff out oh i have you know i have a car i have a boat i have a four-wheeler it's so weird you know what i mean yeah yeah i don't know how to work it either i think i, I, I think i tried it. to look on there once or twice and i couldn't really figure it out yeah and then you find somebody's post and the post is basically like uh yeah my name's john and I got a John boat, and it's forty dollars. Come get it. I'd pay forty dollars for a John boat. And you're like, okay, John, where are you at, dude? You know, uh, I didn't catch your phone number. Uh, how am I supposed to get back in touch with you? Are you even in the United States? Is this John boat in Australia? I don't know where you are. But I do know that Ashley has sold stuff on the marketplace, and she's bought stuff on the marketplace. Well, so, she probably knows so how to she use knows it, how though. to use it. Yeah. So I know how to use like, I don't know, Craigslist. Craigslist is easy. Yeah, Craigslist is easy. I like Craigslist. Still I've bought some it. stuff from Craigslist. Before. I have too, and sold lots of stuff on Craigslist. I've also sold some stuff on Craigslist. Yeah, I like it too. Um, so what's the, what's coming up? What's the plan? What are you doing this weekend? Oh, man, so I really don't know. To be honest with you, I'm I'm at an impasse. I was hoping by now I would have rabbits, yes. and I don't have rabbits. Um, so at this point, I don't know what to do. If Oh, maybe I leave it up to the people. Maybe I can actually get a comment or two. So if anybody has something they'd like to see, feel free to comment below. And and if it's reasonable, I'm not going to go streaking through the neighborhood or anything, but if it's reasonable, then I'll try to make a video on it. And to my mom, me shaving my beard's not reasonable. Not an option. Mm -mm. Uh, well, you know, it's almost time to get some yard work done. It is. Maybe I could do, do that. You gonna do anything around the yard? Mulch it or? I don't know. I need to overseed it. Mm -hmm. I need to uh, aerate it and overseed it is what needs to be done. I may may do that. May do that. Make a video on it. I need to go back and check on the bees again. Haven't done that in a while. Um, may make a video on that. I need to make a video with the puppies, but I was trying to let them get you know mobile, like really good and mobile, to where it would be a good video, like yeah. them like running and playing. And they're just not quite there yet. Their eyes are open. And they are walking now. You know, kind of like a crawl walk. Not a full-grown walk. They're definitely not, like, running or anything. But as soon as they get a little bit more mobile, maybe in the next week, maybe a week from now, I'm going to have just the cutest video ever of puppies. Everybody loves puppies. And the puppies are all reserved except for two. And one of the two 
I've got two different ladies both saying, yes, I want him. Yes, I'm going to put a deposit down, but neither one's put a deposit down yet. So I'm just kind of waiting to see who gets to the finish line first. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So you don't know what's coming up? I don't know. I have no clue. You'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, though. i got to figure out something pretty quick. This is going to come up. Mm-hmm. You know, this will be out Saturday, Sunday-ish. And then I got to actually do something Saturday or Sunday or both. I got to be recording something over the weekend. It's so much easier to record something over the weekend than it is to try and record something during the week. Mm -hmm. Get more time. Yeah, there's so much more time. It's hard to record anything substantial during the week. I'm going to try to do some yard work this weekend. And I'm also going to try to maybe fish this weekend. Why don't you just let me come record you? But I'm going to try to do both of those things without getting absolutely physically abused by the sun. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Yeah, I don't don't know if you can tell there in YouTube land, but... A couple days ago, it was fierce. I came in Monday and my arms and my neck were purple. Yes, they passed by Um, red. But, uh... Otherwise, I've, I've healed pretty nicely. I can actually touch my arms. That's an improvement. So they're they're itchy, so I keep trying to mm-hmm. not scratch them, but you know, just, rub. Yeah, yeah. And uh, well, you're not peeling yet, and some no. of it looks like it's trying to sink in. Oh yeah, it'll sink in a little bit. Yeah, but maybe if I get out and do some yard work this weekend and um, get a little bit more uh-huh. more sun to sink in, but not get. Uh, you know, not be a lobster like I was this past Monday. So maybe so. Oh, so guess what? I don't know if I mentioned it already. If I have, then just stop me and we'll edit it out. But do you remember I planted the willow tree and I told you it was dying? Oh uh, yes. Do you remember me saying that? Mm-hmm. Okay, and I remember I looked it up and it needed like ten gallons of water per inch of diameter of tree trunk, two to three times a week. Okay. So 20 to 30 gallons of water per, a week per inch of tree trunk diameter. And the tree trunk diameter of the one that I have was probably three inches or so. <clears throat> so that's like 60 to 80 gallons a week, basically, is what it needed. It would, definitely was not getting anywhere close to that. So what I did is I took a five-gallon bucket and I drilled a little teeny hole in the bottom of it. And I propped it up against the tree. And I built like a little holding area for water with dirt like mounded up a uh ant bed with the top scooped mm-hmm. out of it basically and it holds you know a gallon of water maybe and i fill that five gallon bucket up with water and it comes out so slowly that it doesn't all run off it actually has time to sink in and i do that every day every day i give it five gallons of water um, which probably still isn't even enough now that I think about it. Now that I'm doing the math in my head, it's probably still not enough. But it's working because um, it was dying, and now it looks so good. It's got all kinds of new growth. It's coming back alive. That's good. I was scared to death. I thought I'd killed it. <laughs> you think you could do that with two buckets? Probably if could. If you needed more water, probably just take could. two five-gallon buckets and yeah, do it sure every could. day? Yeah, fill them both up, yeah. I mean, you might not need that now, but. I don't think so. It's coming. It's really coming back to life. I think that on top of all the rain that we've had, mm-hmm. it's had. We've had a lot of rain. We've had enough. We've had so much rain. I haven't had to water the garden on one time, and the garden's growing really good. But even with the rain, it wasn't enough for that willow tree. Um, but then when I added that five gallons of water on it every day, and it actually got the whole five gallons, it didn't run off. That's that was the ticket. Well, I'm glad you were able to find a good, like, alternative way to yeah. get it enough water every day. Yeah, because I was scared, man. Seriously. That's another thing I want to do. I want to do a video on rainwater collection through a um, gutter diver- water diverter. There's a diverter that you can buy to go in your gutter. It's like 19 bucks on Amazon. And I've watched the installation project. You know, prob- I've, I've watched the process on YouTube. It looks pretty easy. I could get it and put it in and then get a barrel to collect the rainwater. And then I could hook a soaker hose from that barrel to my tree. And then every time it rained, it would store in that barrel and it would water my tree for days and days and days. And yeah, that'd days be pretty days. cool. Yeah, I want to do that. Like a like a sump pump or or like how would it's you- all gravity fed. That'll be really cool. I'd considered solar power. 
but uh I'm I'm going to I'm going to do it slowly but surely, you know. I'm going to start out really small and just get something that I can add to over time. I think if Ashley and I decide to build a house, I think I'll um maybe try to go with like a hybrid like uh like solar and like power or what's the way to describe that? Uh grid tied yeah, system. Yeah, grid tied with solar, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to do something. Yeah. Let's try to do something hybrid, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, I want to do that. I think that'd be really cool. So that would be a whole series, you know, going, you know, solar. All that could be a series. The water diverter would be really cool. I may go and order that soon. And then I want to get a drone. I would love to get some aerial footage of the entire farm. I think other people would enjoy seeing that. A drone too. would be cool. Yeah, I hadn't even considered that. That'd be really neat. Yeah. That would be some really good footage. Yeah. So, yeah. But as far as immediately, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know. We're going to figure something out. I'm sure Elizabeth could think of something, too. Oh, she's she probably got a something. list a mile long. She probably does. Yeah. Actually, you might not want to tell her you don't <laughs> have anything to do. She's probably going to figure it out when she watches this to edit it, though. So what do you do then? I can hear it now. She's going to get this edited, and she's going to come to me and be like, so... Here's your list. You know what? I thought of this really cool idea. We could paint the house. Yeah, there you go. That's exactly what she's going to say. If you guys need something to do, you can come to my house and paint my house. No, I'm good. Film yourself painting my house. <laughs> my cabinets need to be painted. Yeah? Yeah. So the old house that we lived in, we painted the cabinets white. We didn't paint it. We had it painted. Mm -hmm. um, we paid uh, Sean Ard is the guy that we paid to paint our cabinets. Did a great job. Um... He's local right here. And if any of you guys need any paint work done, then, you know, drop a comment down below and we'll private message or whatever. I'll get you guys his phone number. He does a good job. Uh, but anyway, he painted the uh, cabinets white, which was a good idea at the time. But, man, they get dirty so easy. Mm -hmm. And you don't, you don't realize it. That's what color our cabinets will eventually be. Oh, it sounds like a good idea, but I'm telling you, you're... You're well, sick of cleaning them. It's not my idea. Yeah. So, but she wants them white. Well, but it is what it is. Baby wants, baby gets. That's yeah. normally what happens. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Nope. All well, right. Well, I guess we'll um, you'll have this one up over the weekend, and then uh, yeah, you'll just, you'll just have to. We'll all just be in for a surprise when myself when, included when the following video. Oh, we'll all figure it out together next week. Hopefully somebody will come up with a rabbit between now and then. Yeah, I'll tell Ashley to look. If she wants a rabbit bad enough, she'll look. There you go. Tell her I need a, a buck and two does. Um, okay. I need a male and two females. And preferably they all be the same breed. I don't want to be breeding a whole bunch of uh, crossed up stuff. Okay. Um, Nettling dwarfs would be good. Or mini rexes would be good. Tell her to look at the mini rexes. She may like those too. They're oh. very similar to the Nettling dwarfs as far as the aesthetic look goes. Mm-hmm. And keep us updated on the garden. I'm curious if your uh, I will, I will. If your bag trick is how effective it is. Yeah, hopefully it works. Well, I mean, everybody around here does it. I, pay attention next time you're driving around, and you'll see a lot of the farms around here. They'll have bags tied to the fences that go around the farms. Yeah, I guess I just never paid any attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Yeah, that's an old, old, old trick. So. All right, well, you got anything else? I got nothing else, man. All right, well, then I guess that's it for this episode. I think so. And uh, we'll be back sometime next week. Sometime next week. With uh, another episode of the Homestead Report. That's right. So, so as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the buttons. And the bell. And the bell. And Select all. Comment. Comment. Definitely comment. Let them know what to make a video on. I could use some suggestions. Let me know where to find a rabbit. Mm -hmm. Just give me a rabbit. Somebody just come down with a rabbit and just give it to me. Just give me a rabbit. Just give me a rabbit. But Save me the trip. I guess we will see you guys next if week. If you give me a rabbit, I'll put you in my video. <laughs> what if I get you a rabbit? If you get me a rabbit, I'll put you in my video. Oh, I've always wanted to be in one of your videos. I man. know, right? That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I guess we will. Um, that's it for us. And that's it, dude. We'll see you guys next week. Later. Cool. Give us a little synchronization. 
Nice clapping. My belly, dude. I gotta, Your belly. I gotta lose some weight. Jesus Christ, dude. I mean, I don't even get me started. Cam around. That's 15, right? I hope it's adding like 25. Maybe if I if I turn my back. To we'll the both camera, just do this. You can't see. And we'll, hey, and we'll look at it with like little uh, flirty eyes. Like. <laughs> uh, I need to, I need to lose weight. You wanna help? Yeah, you wanna lose some weight together? Dude, I need to. I need to lose weight. What we'll do is we'll add like a workout uh, video. Uh huh. And we'll video. Uh, people love that crap. Mm-hmm. We'll video ourselves working out. Yeah. We'll do a 30-day challenge. Uh-huh. Can you actually do a plank for 60 seconds? Me? Uh, probably. I could when I was younger. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know if I can now. We should do a plank. See who can do the plank for the longest. I've got, I've got Coca-Cola. This is, the, this is the lose weight Coca-Cola. So what we could do, and I guarantee you we would lose weight 100%. Uh-huh. Is what we could do is every day around lunchtime when it's time to eat and we get to, we go to Bayboro we just pass Bayboro and keep going go to my house work out for 30 minutes instead and come back and go back to work yeah just don't eat just don't eat yeah you'll probably lose weight that way just don't eat and exercise yeah what, what would probably help us lose weight is if literally we just did anything at all Resynchronization clapperoony. Good clap. She's been doing pretty good with she's editing, though. Good. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. She's been doing all the editing? Yes. Yeah, she's getting better at it. She's getting better at it, for sure. Yeah. yeah. She's the one putting in, like, the little... She she does things that I would typically not do. Um, I wouldn't take the time to put the transitions in and the words on the screen. and But I like it. Yeah, I like it, too. It's good yeah, stuff. I like where she takes it, too. It's good stuff. So if you're listening... Elizabeth, good job. Yes. Doing a fantastic job. Good job, babe. Sweet. Ow, God bless. Did you see me try to take this thing out? I did. Jesus. Just almost jeopardized the entire podcast. Dude, my ears are sweating. It's so hot in here. We opened that door. Yeah. It was already and it got hot in here because we turned the air. I on. know, and then and we... And then we opened the door. Look. Jeez. Terrible.